Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 6 of the Discord Economy Bot series. So in last video, what we did was we made a command to buy workers. But in this video, we're going to make a command to force these labor... No, to force these workers to do labor. So um, first, what you want to do is clear your database because we're going to be adding a new property to the start command. So this actually let me add in the middle. This will be last work. Now it'll be zero, so we can figure out when the user last worked. All right, so now let's add the command all the way down here. Let's do if arg zero is equal to work. So we can copy and paste this top part right here. This is because it's the same for each one. It checks if it fetches the database, checks if the user is playing. If not, it throws an error. Okay, now we need to have a variable called time since a lot actually uh i'll just call this delta time and um and it's basically the difference in minutes of the time now and the time when you last work so that would be so you get the current time in milliseconds new date dot get time you subtract the time you last use the work command so last work you wrap more parentheses around this and you divide it by a minute. So a thousand times 60, because there's a thousand milliseconds in a second, 60 seconds in a minute. So now what we do is if delta time is less than 30, then that means that the time they used it was 30 minutes ago, less than 30 minutes ago. So we throw an error because that is not allowed. And the error will be Actually, let's use template literals. You can only work... You can work in... Alright, let's do del 30 minus delta time, because if the time that you last worked was 9 minutes ago, then the time when you're next able to work will be 30 minus 9, so 21. So you you can work in 30 minus delta time minutes. <coughs> and then it'll send the error. So now we can actually add whatever to the user's database. So we'll do user JSON fetch it uh, dot bell and you add uh, the amount of workers that the person has plus one because we're nice and each worker produces two coins. And then we also have to add um, the last work. We have to update the last time the user works. So this would be equal to new uh, date dot get time. And then we have to save it, right? File sync, users JSON. You have to format it into JSON once more, and then you have to tell the user that it was successful. So you just, so you create an embed. Same thing, same thing. Set title success. I mean, you don't have to make it success. You can make it whatever you want. I like to make it success though, because I think it's a cool title. Description will be, you have earned, uh, and then we can just copy and paste this. You have earned that many Discord coins, and then we send it. And now, let's test this bot right here. So let's try starting. I start, val is zero. I try daily. Let's buy some workers, actually. So buy worker... 20. Our balance is now 360. Let's work. I've earned 42 coins. Let's check our bell again. 402. So now you have a work command. Um, in the next video, we're probably going to add some little features, things that can make this better. And then after, we're probably going to do an advanced tutorial using a bunch more efficient methods, cleaner ways of writing code. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Bye.